threatened, scared. That's how thousands of people in our area feel, and they all have one thing in common. They all live in mobile homes. All right, let's face it, housing costs, they're ridiculous. And for some Coloradans, the only path to home ownership is through a mobile home park. Now, here's the rub, though. While they own the home, they don't own the land it's on, and that puts them at the mercy of their landlord. And several of you reached out to Contact 7 Denver Marchetta, or excuse me, uh, Teresa Marchetta, about the problems you face. And she discovered that the problems at one local mobile home park reflect a growing national crisis in a system failing to protect those who live there. At Friendly Village of the Rockies. Well, you can either do it or just get out. Homeowners say management doesn't live up to the name. Put a note on your door that you need to do this within a certain amount of time where you, you get fined. Right. The paper. They called Contact 7 when they got this letter, ordering them to take down their fences in 60 days or face fines and eviction. The Velasquez has paid $3,000 for their fence to keep stray animals and people out. They appealed, but no one would even talk with them. And that's not all. Um, rents keep going up for almost no reasons. We get our cars towed for no reason. Homeowners, many too afraid of being evicted to go on camera with us, shared stories of retaliatory rent hikes, predatory towing practices, and bullying by management. Casey's parents are among them. They were out here hooking the, the car up right away. And my mom came out. She was like, she's leaving right now. Well, it took some money for them to set the car down and then uh, then they raised the rent on my mom right after that because she complained about it. How much? A hundred dollars. A hundred dollars a month? A month. hundred dollars a month. Anthony Velasquez says his wife's car was towed after she misjudged their driveway in the snow. The tire was on the dirt or their landscape, as they say, off the driveway. So they considered that landscape and you can't park on the landscape and they towed it off. We didn't see any formal landscaping at the Thornton Park. In fact, we found the opposite. Cracked uneven sidewalks, overgrown weeds, unstable stairways, and free roaming animals. And this heartbreaking sign, a memorial to a dog attacked and killed by a stray while on a leash being walked by its owner. Exactly why the Velasquez's didn't want to take down their fence. You're not surprised by that. No, this is indicative of cases that are occurring across the country. Like in Aurora. CU sociologist Esther Sullivan says 80% of the residents in places like Friendly Village own their homes. She's become an expert on the topic, spending nearly a decade documenting housing insecurity in mobile home parks. These issues that you're seeing in Friendly Village, they might seem unique to this one park, but they're indicative of the capricious and arbitrary actions that landlords take in mobile home parks across the nation. Sullivan has lived in two mobile home parks and she's seen it firsthand. They're subject to rent hikes, oftentimes without notice, fees that upon fees that are tacked on, uh, a lack of maintenance or an expectation that they maintain the land that they live on that they don't own. And it's all perfectly legal. Through TV appearances, TED Talks, and a new book, Sullivan is exposing how property owners are wringing profits out of low-income homeowners in places like Friendly Village. Have you seen the apathy that I have found on the part of local governments to confront this and do something to protect these citizens? Local governments are complicit in this process. Sullivan says cities and municipalities stigmatize mobile home parks, zoning keeps them hidden, often in industrial areas, and local leaders fail to recognize the crucial source of affordable housing they provide to the local workforce. We cannot build our way out of our current affordable housing crisis, which we all can see in Denver. There are more than 960 mobile home parks in Colorado alone. Kingsley Management owns seven in the metro, including Friendly Village. Can we... Can we talk to you just for one second? We tried to talk to the property manager about the accusations against them, but she hid in a back office. I think it is unfair, all the stuff they do. We sent repeated requests to Kingsley's corporate office in Utah, but they wouldn't talk to us either. Sullivan says they don't have to. Right now, the law is on their side. I hope this community fights back for them. You know, they need to save the place where they live. We found a Colorado statute from the early 1970s that says management can change park rules without the consent of the homeowner on 60 days written notice if the amended rules and regulations are reasonable. So who decides what's reasonable? Right now, no one. And most mobile homeowners, they can't afford an attorney to fight management in court. We asked our state attorney general's office. They sent us a form letter. 
There are some cities and counties taking action. So our next step, we're going to take it to lawmakers. Shannon. Teresa Marchetta, nice work. Wow. If you ever have a problem, please don't hesitate to contact us. Contact 7. There's our tip line on your screen. Or if you'd rather, email newstips at thedenverchannel.com.